What makes your internet connection so slow when you're already using a high-speed Wi-Fi? Why does it get worse when more devices are connected to the same router? Today, I'm here at Huawei Wi-Fi Testing Center in Wuhan. Let's walk around and try and figure out these questions. Wow! Are we in a science fiction movie? Dr. Du, can you explain to us what's happening here? Whether a Wi-Fi has a good signal coverage largely depends on the design of its antenna. In this experiment, we get a digital Wi-Fi coverage model. Please come this way. You can see all the performance data from different angles. The red parts indicate good signals. It seems like every angle has a pretty strong signal. Exactly. But to ensure a solid Wi-Fi performance, we have to consider a lot of other factors. Please come this way. Wow, Doctor, this is really impressive. What are we testing here? Besides the design of the antenna, the Wi-Fi performance of a product has been greatly affected by the software algorithm, the chipset, and the radio frequency design. In this professional lab, we will test the Wi-Fi performance of the products with different distances and different angles. These results will help us a lot to optimize the Wi-Fi performance. I can't believe that a box like this has so much knowledge in it. In fact, these experiments are not enough. To give the end user a better experience, we further consider the anti-interference of the Wi-Fi as a significant factor. Please follow me. There are many kinds of wireless signals in our home today, such as the signals from the deck phones, the Bluetooth devices, the microwave ovens, and the neighbor Wi-Fi routers. They all work in the same frequency of the Wi-Fi and will interfere the Wi-Fi connections. Wow! This testing environment simulates how various interference sources affect the Wi-Fi performance. Well, I never thought about this issue before, but how do you deal with the interference? An optimized algorithm is specifically designed to solve the problem. It will actively sense interference and dynamically adjust the speed and channel. It's like keeping optimal speed on the highway by actively avoiding the congested roads. It sounds cool. Is it like a network with an autopilot? That's a perfect metaphor. Let's go to the next lab. As we mentioned, the network can be looked on as a highway system. The traffic is mostly congested in the engines. That is our Wi-Fi. This environment is performing pressure tests by simulating multiple surfaces from multiple devices concurrently passing through the Wi-Fi engines. Yeah, that's what I'm most curious about. The engines will be congested when all the service try to squeeze into it. We consider this problem when designing our products. Through perceiving each services, distinguishing the high and low speed devices, the system will select the best lane for each service on the basis of the real speed. As a result, each lane will not be easily congested. The end user can enjoy the optimal speed. After we go through all the experiments in the lab, we will test our products in the real environment to ensure a reliable and stable performance. After visiting the Wi-Fi testing center, I figured out a lot of questions I had before. A good Wi-Fi gateway requires a rigorous testing environment an innovative and productive design team, and most importantly, a tireless craftsman spirit in seeking excellent product quality. Let's look forward to more amazing Huawei products.